Welcome back to the top apps of the month, October 2016. Let's just jump right into it. This is the wallpaper. I got it from a Google Plus page and it's materialized. Most of the wallpapers on there are materialized anyways. They're portrait size, so you're not gonna have that smooth transition, but it does look nice. So you have a kite, a moon, fog, pink, ground, I guess, planets. Uh, very flat design, just looks amazing with my icons. So if you just go to the Google page right here, here it is, I have it saved. Uh, you can go all the way to the top and see all the wallpapers that they upload. There's the one I have. You can see they just made it two days ago and they upload pretty consistently. So you'll have a new wallpaper to choose from every single day, just giving you a variety here and you can just download them in full resolution. So the first application I wanted to show you guys is called Macro Droid. It's free in the Google Play Store. And this is a task automation and configuration app that allows you to perform tasks that you can never do before on your phone, unless you have root, of course, and sometimes you can't even do it then. So what you can do is, here are the macros I have down here. These are the ones I made. Here's an example. If I connect to Bluetooth in my car, it will automatically launch Spotify and change the volume of the Bluetooth. And if my phone is below 25%, it will not do that at all. And uh, you can go into the templates and see some that they have created. So these are the top rated. You can turn on the flashlight just by shaking your phone. Uh, you can find your phone. Someone is trying to unlock your phone. It will take a picture of them if they fail to unlock it twice in a row. And it's, it will send you the picture to your email as well. So that's great if you lose your phone. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do a macro. Basically, you add one and then you gotta choose a trigger. So I'm going to make it so when I shake my device, my flashlight will toggle on just like the Moto. Uh, it has to do with shaking, shake device, there you go. Here it is, torch. And I'm gonna have that in the background. I just wanna toggle it, hit okay. You can add a constraint if you want. You can click the check mark, you name it, whatever you want. I'm gonna name it flashlight, there you go. You can categorize it uh, and that's it. Just go into your categorization or all your macros and there it is, tap on that, you can see it's right there. So let's try it out. I'm going to shake my device here. There you go. Oh, I got a notification, my bad. And shake it again, it's gone. Shake it, turn it on, shake it off, turn on the flashlight, and there you go. Now let's say your phone is off, it's not going to turn on the flashlight. So it's not gonna be going off in your pocket uh, if you want to get the pro version, I'm actually going to be giving away 10 promo codes to unlock the pro version. So if I go in here, the pro version actually costs $2.99, as you can see there, and it will have unlimited number of macros. You can only have five when you have the free version. There's no ads, uh, and you can help the developer. So I'll have 10 promo codes to give away if you want to unlock that, or you can just buy it yourself if you don't want to wait for me to give it away. All you have to do to enter is follow me on Twitter at HowToMan and you're entered to win automatically. I'll be DMing the winners in a couple of days. So that's pretty much it. Parallel Windows for Nougat is free in the Google Play Store and it will only work on Android Nougat devices. So if you don't have that, you can skip ahead. Uh, this will give you a little more control of split window mode in Android Nougat. It's pretty cool uh, what it does. So if I go here, enable it, you can see this is it. So let's go into Twitter and let's pop it up here. There it is, scroll it out from the side. Uh, tap on this to pop up all the apps. Right now it's in alpha mode, so it is a little slow and buggy at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna choose Google Plus. There you go. And then I can choose one from down here. And I don't know, let's do Google Plus again. That's actually what you can do. You can mirror the same app on two pages. So there you go, if it's signing in, oh my goodness. So there, I can scroll right through Google Plus on the top. Scroll right through here. It's the same app, Google Plus, but it's just a different page. And if you go here as well, you can just tap on that to make it larger, bring it back up. That's the mirror button. And it's still a little buggy and needs working because it's an alpha version, but you can download it right now if you have Android Nougat. The next app we're checking out is called Opera VPN. This is free. And with this, it will block ad trackers and it lets you change your virtual location to unlock more content on the internet. So let's connect the Opera VPN, connect that. And if I also want to connect it to the others, I have to wait till this connects first. And this will allow me to change the region I'm in so I can go on different websites from different regions. 
And if you go here, Guardian is active. Basically what that is, it will block ad trackers from uh, looking at what you're doing. So it won't block ads when you're navigating through the internet, but it will block ad trackers. Uh, so that way, I don't know, they just don't spy on you when you're doing whatever you're doing on the internet. And right here, you can test your Wi-Fi network to see if your Wi-Fi is being hacked, if it's in good condition, if it's secure, encrypted, A+. So my security level is great. Down here are the details. My connection is all right, B+. And if I go onto the homepage, you can see that little key means Opera VPN is enabled. So there you can see I'm on Android Police and I still have ads even though VPN is enabled because it only blocks ad trackers, not the ads themselves, which I think is fine. Digit is the next app. It's free and it allows you to save money without even thinking about it effortlessly. So it will connect to your checking account. And I know that sounds a little sketch. At first I thought it was pretty sketch, but what it will do, it will transfer funds to Digit and it won't overdraft your account. So you don't have to worry about that. It will automatically save money into digit so in the future if you need emergency money it will automatically have it and it only takes small amounts i actually didn't even notice how much they were taking uh because they take so little and they save up and they save me a lot of money there you can see 294 dollars and if you tap up here on the money you can actually see how much money they have taken every single time they took it it determines how much money to take depending on how your spending habits are and it saves a few dollars from your checking account and you can interact with it. So if you tap on near, you can actually see, you can withdraw the money, tap on that. How much would you like to withdraw to send it to your bank account? Uh, if I want to pause it, I can check how much I have in my savings, in my checking account, my recent things. So if I want, they show me my recent last three transactions. I went to In-N-Out, uh, the store in San Bernardino and Amazon. Uh, and then I can have all these other options as well. And if you wanna, transfer that amount that you saved, that digit saved, you can do so as well whenever. There's no fees, it's free, easy to use. You can transfer whenever, it's not going to tell you no. That's it, it just saves you money. The next app we're checking out is called Price. This is free, it's unreleased in the Google Play Store and you can compare prices between different stores and websites to find the best deal possible for the item you want to purchase. Uh, let's go down here, these are uh, related Apple products and I can see what stores are selling the Apple Watch for. So on Amazon, they're selling it for $275 and I think Smart USA is selling it for $189. If you tap on a website, for example, Amazon, it will just load up the website so you can just buy it. And this app is still on release, so some websites are not going to be compared and some products are not gonna show different stores where it's selling it at. Uh, so, of course, but we can still do a barcode scan of a product. So I tapped on the barcode, here's a book. Maybe I want to buy this book somewhere and I want to find the cheapest price for this book. So I just, uh, I'm at the bookstore and I just scan this barcode right here. Maybe it's too expensive there. There you go, automatically scan that. Wow, I did find it, that's pretty cool. Uh, so there, it only found it on Amazon though. And let's say you're scrolling through an app that allows you to buy stuff. Uh, you can just tap on something, for example, this lens, tap on that, uh, tap on this lens, and I want to see if it's cheaper anywhere else. Well, let's go down here, and you can share it, tap the share button, and you can share it to price it. Okay, got it. And it will look for that item at the top, right there, it says pricing right now. And it compared it to other stores which the lens is being sold at. At Walmart, it's the cheapest. Now for the games. So I'm going to start it off with Orped. This is free and uh, it's an endless one touch control game. It's pretty fun. So you just tap the screen uh, to make your planet float. Looks like Earth. So you just tap on it and you don't want the Earth to fall into the black hole in the middle. And you have to avoid these meteors. You obviously can tap down here. Oh, oh and I lost. Okay, so I got eight. My high score is 25 you're never gonna beat it but you can just play while you're in the bathroom uh yeah so that's that's what i'm probably gonna do just kidding i'm that's weird anyway uh oh yes okay i don't know how i dodged all those 22 seconds my high score is 25 hopefully i can beat it 
and I beat my high score. Yeah. And you can't go outside the orbit. It won't let you. Oh, there's two black holes. Wow. Gets harder, obviously. Whoa, I lost. Okay, 33 seconds. This next game we're checking out is called One More Jump. It's free. Very simple. So you just tap, tap. And yeah, that's basically it. You don't want to touch the blue or you lose. And you want to collect those blue diamonds. You don't want to smash into that because then you lose. Uh, but you do want to collect the blue diamonds right up there. There's only three. So boom. You have to time it right to land on the platform too. Uh, let me see if I can get these last two up there. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just going to skip it. Boom. I won. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Got two already. And let's go for that third. Okay. I totally messed up. You know, I'm just going to go for it. Go for the win. You don't have to collect all three. Okay. So this one's a little faster. So <laughs> give me a sec. Here I go. Oh man. Okay. Let's go again. Okay. I missed that one. That's fine. Dang it. Okay. Wait. Oh my gosh. Dang. Oh, I was so close too. Concentration is at its best, right? Why did I do that? Oh my God. <laughs> and there's an ad, of course. Okay. And I'm just going to go for the win. I don't want to start all over to get that last one. The next game we're checking out is called Zombie Derby 2. It's free. So in this game, you basically choose a vehicle, right? And then you upgrade it. Let's go into level two. Let's go. There's my vehicle. You upgrade it. And then you get to shoot and smash through zombies. That's literally what you do in this game. That background music though. Okay. That bus. Okay. And we get to accelerate here. Shoot all the zombies. You only have a limited amount of fuel. So you got to use it just right. I forgot to shoot that. So accelerate. Okay, we're good. Shoot that. I'm out of bullets. And I'm out of fuel. So you got to keep on upgrading your stuff if you want to reach the end of the stage and progress. I'm almost out of fuel, so let's just use the nitro for now. Oh my goodness. I'm low on fuel. Let's just use all the nitro now. And I'm out of fuel. And nitro. The last game I have for you guys is called Six. This is free. And with this game, you will actually be interacting with a tower of blocks shaped like bricks. Here you go. And you have a hexagon. What you do is you just tap on the blocks to make them disappear. You can't have the hexagon fall off though, so you have to be uh, a little smart about this. Ooh, I messed up there. So let me see what I can do here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make this tilt. Okay, uh, so let's disappear that. Oh, perfect. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to make this disappear. Boom. Tap that, tap that, tap that. And every single time you tap a block, you get five points. Let's keep it going. So I'm already gonna be on stage two. Let's just keep it going here. Come on now. Doing pretty good right now. Uh, let's see if I can win. The hex, the hexagon hasn't fallen off yet. So let's keep it going. Oh, all that fell. So, oh no. It totally fell. I get last call. You just tap on all the blocks and 315. All right. So those are the top apps of the month, October, 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure to drop a like also make sure to follow me on my Twitter. So that way you get a chance at winning 10 promo codes. I'm giving away 10. So to macro droid. So make sure to just follow and you're entered. That's it. And also I will see you guys in the next video. Kapow.